I'm still trying to do something humanitarian while I'm trying. And this concerns all your delivery service companies, DoorDash, Grubhub, all of these. I'm going to try to make this quick. No promises. Drivers should always commu communicate with you. No excuse not to. If they don't, go inside the app and I'll just have to figure out how to do it because I don't know how. But go in the app and give them a rating. Yes, we have ratings. I'm going to pull mine up without... You don't need to see that part. Hopefully I hit it enough. That's my ratings. My 93 was higher. See, you can go. I've had a couple of low ones. I won't lie, I would I have. But the driver should always communicate. I do. I do. I type up a message and I got to save to my phone. I send it every time I get an order. Another thing is a lot of times, you, if you do order from some one of these companies and, and it doesn't get picked up or it takes forever, because I'll be honest with you, because you probably didn't put a, put a tip on there and a lot of people won't do it. Which I can understand both sides. But what people don't realize is on the driver's side is we got to pay for our own gas. And if DoorDash only pays two and a quarter for base pay. So if you're getting an order for 10, 9, 10 miles for 2.25, no, no, nobody's going to touch it. I'm sorry to say that's just a sad true fact. More than likely, it will not get picked up. My son works at McDonald's. He's run across that. He runs across that all the time. And I told him why. DoorDash in certain areas will have a, a peak pay. Like, Bridgeville was having a, everyone bought every day. Today, today, they had it this morning for. And I, I don't do mornings. I come in about 11:30 until 5:30, 6:30, And then I'm doing the next peak pay until 3:30. Until 5.30. And that's about the time I'm just going to 5.30 when I'll roll home. You can always add a tip in after. I had a woman I did a community post, shared that story with you. It was about her. Because she ordered something from Walmart. I don't remember the whole story, but apparently the driver picked it up, brought it out there, and something was going on. He brought it back. I don't buy that one, but. That's, neither the girl actually had, the girl loaded in my car was the same one who did that morning. She didn't believe it either. But the mom was out of state, the girl, where I was going with her, with her daughter and was disabled with caretakers. And the mom shoot Walmart employee out. I mean, apparently she ripped her, mm-hmm. Well, I started to, I, I talked to everybody when I'm doing an order. If they don't reply, then I'm not going to waste my time. But if they do, I'm going to keep talking to them. She happened to reply. And she said, follow my instructions, I'll leave you a great tip. And I'm, and she just told, already told me her daughter was disabled living with caretakers. I said, I don't care about a tip. You hit the magic word, disabled. That was it. It could have been free and I was going to do it. Long story short, she asked me how to put, do a tip in the app. I had no clue. Still don't know how she did it. I don't use DoorDash. I'm cheap. But she figured out and added a $20 tip in it. So you can add tips and that's a fact. I didn't know that until she did it. I know I've seen it said, says on the screen when you can order, it can be added after me. I've never believed that. Because I've never seen it done. And a lot of, I've seen, and it's true, a lot of DoorDash does high tips. Which is kind of ridiculous. I've heard of stories where the restaurants are, I don't know how they do it, but they're pulling tip right off the account. I don't know how they do it.
I do it, but I guess it's all right. My point, though, is drivers should always communicate. No, not a day, no questions. That's just the golden rule. At least for me it is. I mean, my wife's want to tell me that when we start doing this together. And you can, I, the suggestion is either put a tip on it when you order or go in and go in after and put a tip in, put a tip in. And always, 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 I can never stress this enough, rate your driver. It takes a few seconds. I don't know how long it honestly takes. I don't, like I've went inside the regular app that most the customers use like once or twice. Like I said, we don't use DoorDash. Found out it actually costs more money. We ordered KFC a few months ago and it was going to be like almost 60 bucks and DoorDash and yet for me to go pick it up was like 30. It's like, yep, I'll save the 30 bucks. And another thing is DoorDash is doing an Instacart job now too. So driver, drivers have to go in and shop. Now, what a lot I've seen is a lot of times people don't realize is that so like here in town with the only one we do is Food City. They don't have the item I'll tell the text customer if they don't answer, I'm not going to sit around and play games all day. I'm just going to issue, issue them a refund. Yeah, it can be done. Little things that people don't realize. But these are just little. Oh, another thing, real quick. Now that I'm born, you're making them watch paint dry. I had an order for Little Caesars right across the street there. And you can click on the app, and the drivers have to check in when we arrive at the store. If they're still there, don't blame the driver. Blame the frickin' restaurant. Because they ain't got the order done yet. I went to Little Caesars, and I'm... And so it's not done yet. I've been to Asian cuisine where it took them a half an hour. Luckily, I'm, the guy was... I was delivering to him regular, so I wasn't... He was cool with it, and by the time I got to his house, he said, what are you doing here? He said, well, I said, what do you mean? He said, the app says you're still standing in Asian cuisine. I said, okay. We both had a good laugh. Because I was at his house, and it's still saying I was at the Asian cuisine restaurant. But these are just some tips to help everybody, try to help everybody out, because DoorDash is huge. Now, another fun fact I want to share with you guys, just for a good laugh. If I can pull it up, not her. See that building right there? Through the tree. An electric box. The beige and orange one. Fun fact, and it's actually hilarious. It really is. That was built, that used to be an Arby's. Arby's did not do business in this town. They're too expensive. Bojangles bought it. Tore the building down from right to the ground. Put, built that building from the ground up. Lasted maybe a year. Closed up. Been sitting vacant for, and for sale for ooh, close to two years. Take a guess what's going in there now. It was a corporate owned Bojangles. I just found out today. It's now going to be a franchise Bojangles. You can't make that up. Supposed to, it's supposed to be open some, sometime in September. I can't wait. I love Bojangles. But these are just some things trying to make it easier if you're using one of these door delivery sites. Because every one of them you can communicate on. And I cannot stress enough rate your day gum driver. So. I'm sorry this video took longer than I planned. I tried to shorten it down, but it didn't work. There's too much I wanted to share with you guys to make it easier all the way around. But I will catch you on the flip-flop. Bye.